what's up guys today I'm gonna be showing you how to replace your HID bulb BAM this one's broken and your this one's a 2009 Lincoln MKS and I'm gonna be showing you how to replace it without removing the bumper let's check it out okay guys so it's a cold day here in North Carolina <laughs> I'm gonna show you what it looks like to get to your bulb here first thing you're gonna have a cover it's gonna look like this you're gonna go ahead and you can pull on a tab or on the outside and just pop it off set it off to the side and then you're gonna be looking at something like that okay and basically you got two t10 bolts holding that ballast in there the bulb and the ballast are like together and what you're gonna do is if you put your head i think i rest my head up against this or up against this and by doing that you'll be able to see it like you can see it back there okay and so I'm gonna try and show you what it looks like um, to get on there the kind of setup I have and let's see bear with me just a second okay you can kind of see it there and it's hard to get a good angle on this guys <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's better. So you can see my hand's kind of blocking it, but if I get on it, it's gonna look like like that right there. And I took a little where to go. There's my, there. there it is. My little quarter wrench. I dropped my little extension. But yeah, just a little extension, a little T10, and break it loose, and then use your extension in your t10 socket is like a little screwdriver and then you're gonna want to try your darndest this is um the stressful addition of doing this job it may be quicker but it may be more stressful um you may if you know you're gonna do this job ahead of time you may want to go ahead and order some of these screws or like a pack of 10 or something um, because if you drop it down in there there's not really a way of getting it um, when I was doing that side, I did drop one in there, but I took my magnet and reached down in there and I was able to pick it back up. Um, and hopefully I don't drop one on this side. But once you break it loose, okay, you're going to come in with a magnet, okay. Oh, and before you even do that, let's show this. You're going to take a pair of pliers and you're going to reach in here. And you're going to, you can see I've already disconnected the electrical connector. I just came in here like so and go ahead and open it up squeeze them and push down just be very gentle you can see just push down on it but it wasn't too bad I'm trying to take it off with the pliers and then you're gonna take both the bolts off and then this thing will just come out and the the new ones you're gonna get are gonna look like this I'll show you what it looks like here when I get the other one off but there is a little little bracket that slides onto here you can see this is the old one and you can see those marks where I slid the bracket off and you'll slide it onto the new one so I'll show you more here in just a second okay so I got both my little screws out so far so good no dropping it I was able to take them out nicely with my magnet now let's see if I can go all the way back here and capture it from like what I would see. Let's see if we can zoom in over there. And then I'm going to grab onto this thing and just pull like so. I'm sorry this camera is not very focused. Oh, focus camera. Well, looks like that might be as good as we get. There we go. And hey, it's going to come out and you're just going to come out right through here and this is our old bulb this bulb was actually working the other bulb i broke pulling it out because that is when i tried to pull the bulb out and then disconnect the connector um i found out it's easier to just when i hooked it back up and then plug it up so you can also take it off that way like i showed you with the pliers um but this one did not break <laughs> so make sure you disconnect the connector before you attempt to take the bulb out this is the little bracket i was talking about you look at this bracket you can see you're just gonna take both hands hold it and then push push it's, it's on there really good so you're gonna take that bracket off and then slide it onto your new bulb my new bulbs inside this car I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
And the really tricky, stressful part is getting the new bulb with the bulb in. And I'll show you that here in a second. All right, guys, so this is me trying to take this off. And got one hand here, guys. Boom. You can see it slides off. And then we got the new one over here. I'll set this guy there. And then you're going to want to do it in the same orientation, right? So it came off this way. So we're going to get our connector pointed the right way. And then it's going to go on that way. So I'll start it here. I'm not going to be able to do this one handed, but at least maybe I can show you what it looks like a little bit. Let's see. It's almost on, you can see. But again, you're just going to take both hands and just kind of squish it on there. And then we'll take our little cover off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those fasteners. I'm going to put a little eensy teensy bit of grease right there to hold one of the screws in. Okay. And then I'm going to work on getting it in there. And then I'm going to attempt to take my little extension in T10 and start the one side, the easiest side. It's probably going to be the side closer to the outside of the car. So let's see that. All right, so I got my little grease. I'll just take my little grease. And on this cold day, you can see this grease is really stringy. I don't know if you can see it because of the thing or whatever. Make sure, make sure, grease would just be like touching the bulb. That little stringiness does not get on the bulb. So I'm just gonna come over here. I'm just gonna, ah! that was almost bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna set it there. And I may wanna use two hands to do this, but you get the idea, you're just gonna dab just a little eensy teensy bit of grease and then when you stick your bolt in there it's going to stick so it's going to prevent it from falling off so i'll do that i'll get my one started and that is the right side that's the side close to the edge of the car and then we'll see if we can't get that one started okay so what y'all will be able to see is i just barely kind of lined it up there my little bolt is stuck in there i remember on the other side this is how i dropped the bolt and now i'm just remembering what i did is without the bolt in i pushed it in and then just would hope that it would set up and then i came in with my extension and a, the bolt on the end and i took grease and i stuck it in the end so this would stick to the end of that and then that's how i started on the other side i'm just trying it giving you two methods so this one may be riskier for you but it seems like it's going to work now i'm going to take my extension and my socket and i'm going to see if i can't just stick it in there and um, go ahead and start that bolt okay so now i have it lined up as you can see i took the bolt out that it would have dropped down i did catch it um so the best method is going to be like i said using your extension and grease i'm actually going to try this real quick and tell you all if this works you may just be able to use your magnet kind of stick it in there and twist it and then pull it off so i'll try that real quick and we'll see all right so the magnet it's bulkier on the head did not work for me this is what the setup looks like as you can see this screw stays on there really good no matter how you do it so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get this in here because it's not as bulky and basically you're gonna shoot for that hole and just kind of push in remember gently because it's really easy to mess up the bulb um, but it's kind of like if you miss you're gonna drop it so this is this is where it's like stressful it's like playing that game the kids used to play with the well at least when I was a kid the operation or whatever where you had the little tweezers and you touch the thing and you lose except here we're losing a bolt and it's gonna cost us time. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you how it goes. Okay, guys. So that was it. I did. I used my little little grease extension and socket method, and you just gotta go for it. You know, um, if you miss, you're probably gonna drop the screw. So just be very careful. Make sure you can see everything really well, and just once you get it in the hole, or if you hit if you hit that back plate. Just be very careful and keep it pushed onto the back plate very gently and just kind of twist it and try and help it into the hole. I had to do that on this side. On this side, I made it straight in the hole. So I didn't drop either of the four or 
um, zero out of four I dropped, so that's good. Last thing you're gonna have to worry about is the connector, okay? Now, to take it off, all you did was use the pliers. To put it back on, you're gonna need, I'll show you what they look like. They're these, well, you can see the whole thing there. These long picks, I took two long picks and you can kinda grab it like that and with your left hand, you'll have a pick on this side and you'll kinda grab it like that and kinda lift up on it and it's gonna come up about halfway. Once it's on there about halfway, then you can take your pliers, grab it from the bottom, be ever so gentle, and lift it up. It needs to be all the way flush. You can see there's no gap between the ballast and the connector. So just make sure it's flush. And then you have completed your job. And hey, look, we did it. I'm trying to hide my license plates for the customer. But we did it without even removing our bumper cover. So... That is it, hopefully this saves you lots of time and hopefully you don't say too many bad words and get too stressed out over it, but um, there you go. Thanks for watching, see you next time.